you, this is very serious. I want to go back to the point you said you were taking uh, pills because of the stress in life, right? Guys, I was there too. I had my first child when I was 20. You know, so I was married, but I had my first child when I was 20. It's a very stressful times when you do that, right? But I want to, I want you to listen to what the Most High said about these these young men and older men that do not want to stay sober. They keep hurting their own body. Watch this. You know, you know, read that. Watch this. Listen, listen. This is the Book of First Corinthians, three and sixteen. I want you to hear it real closely. Listen. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? So what is he saying about you? You are what? All right, read on. And that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? Where is the Spirit of God supposed to dwell? Inside you. All right, read on. If any man defile the temple of God. But if, if you take a pill, what are you defiling? Now, what are you defiling? Read it from the top again. Hold on, I want, I want you to get this one. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? You are the temple of God. Read on. And that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? The Spirit of God dwelleth in you. Read on. If any man defile the temple of God, him... What? How do you defile your temple? The temple of God. Yes, but you said it earlier. It said, if any man defile the temple of God, which is your body. I said, if any man defile the temple of God by taking pills... By doing drugs, we don't. Him shall God destroy. What, what is God going to do to that man? So, do you want to be destroyed by God? No, sir, right? So, what you what you got to do? All right, give me first, first Peter 5 and 7. Bring it out. Bring it out. Yeah. Hey, you trying to you trying to raise a family? I'm telling you, it ain't gonna work that way. Right. If you ain't sober, it's not gonna work that way. But this, but check, check this out. Because trust me, a lot of us already been there. Like I said, I had I had the wife at 19, had the baby at 20. Watch it. But, but read this. This is what you gotta start doing. Read. First Peter five and seven. Bring it out. Cast away your cares upon Him. Cast away your cares upon the Lord. When, when, when you cast away your care, say you uh, you, you broke, right? Like, Damn, I gotta pay the rent. Whatever, whatever, right? Go ahead, get, get the job. Put forth that effort, and then what you do? You pray. You you uh you uh you pray. You fast to so make sure it happens. Like a lot of us, we try to work, we try to do everything off our own merit. You know what we normally do? We try to do everything off our own. We end up like and something don't go right. Let's say you go for a job and you don't get the job. What you gonna do next? You go what? I don't got. Damn, I don't got. If you ain't praying, so what you gonna do? You gonna pop the pills instead of going to the Bible and praying. Yeah, go to the Bible praying, and then guess what? You get off your your behind, and you go get another job interview. Right. You keep at it till you get that job. Yeah. You don't just sit there and just pop pills. That's what. That's what. That's that's the curses that we had to go through. I mean, that's the curses that we are trying to fix. Get that down. Do run twenty eight. Bring it out. Uh, 20, uh, 29. Bring it out. One of, one of them. That, that's Bring it that's out. stuff that we always been doing, man. It got to stop. And guess what we got to stop with? The brothers your age. The brothers your age. We got to stop with that. 28. Uh, 28. 28. Yeah. This is the book of Deuteronomy. 28 and 28. See, these are the verses. That's the verse 15. I want you to understand how we know that you are Israel. You are Israelite from the tribe of Levi. Watch this. Okay, this, is, this is Moses. Don't worry about it, man. You look good, man. You good. You a, you a child of God, man. Don't worry about it. So when you took that that do rag out, everybody was like, "Oh man, look at the rays. Right. You good, man. You good. Watch this. But listen to this. This is Moses. Right, right. Moses, one of your forefathers. He's one of your kids. I want you to understand that. Yeah. But here you go. Watch this. Read that. This is the book of Deuteronomy. So Moses said, twenty-eight and fifteen. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So your your forefather said. Your people will not, I want you to see the holy sign of it. He said, it's going to come to pass one day that we're not going to listen to God anymore. That's why we popping pills. That's why we hanging out at gas stations and smoking weed all day. You know what I'm talking about. You see what's going on. It's it been going on in my neighborhood. It's been going on since the 80s, man. Everybody doing the same thing, right? Why is this? Read on. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. It overtake It's like, hey, hey, come on, come on, what's your name? Dion. 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 Dion.
five minutes of what you say. Why keep some time? Hey, hold on, hold on. I want you to listen to this. You see that, right? Hey, this is we, we going over um, Moses. Moses talking to the Israelites. Y'all heard, heard the story about Moses. You crossed the Red Sea. You didn't hear it. He heard it. You think that you know that? Hey, check this out. When we crossed the Red Sea, right? Moses was speaking to the Israelites. Like, what, uh, what you guys from? We were fathers from. Hey. Hey, okay, see, all y'all leave right there. He, he's from Haiti too. He, he's both from Haiti. All y'all leave right there. So this is Moses talking to the children of Israel. He said, all these curses are going to come upon you if you don't keep the laws of God, right? So we talk, we, and we speaking uh, to Shiloh. Did I say right? Shiloh? Yeah. We talking to Shiloh about one of the curses that came upon him because he left the Bible. Like, he got his people, I should say, not him. Everybody left the Bible. Yes, it is. It means, it means like peace. Uh, but watch this. Cursed shall thy be in this city. Now, jump to 28. I want this to talk about <coughs> Verse 28. And the Lord shall smite thee with madness. You see that? The Lord shall smite us with madness. Now, we don't have to control our anger. We don't have to control our uh, adversity. We don't. And blindness. And blindness. We don't. And astonishment of heart. And astonishment of heart. You, what happens when you get astonished in your heart when you feel like all is lost? What do you normally do with our child? See? Y'all understand that, right? I know y'all look young. Y'all look like y'all look like high school, right? Hey, hey, make sure you talk to you. Make sure you ask. Talk to, uh, talk to one of those brothers that get answered. How old are you? Are you in high school? I'm about to say, you look even younger than that. He's 12? He's tall. Hello, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. You know what I'm saying? This, it said red eyes, it said blue eyes. 
It didn't say nothing about blue. I didn't say it. It had strings like a goat. It didn't say a goat. It said like a wool, right? Uh, he's not funny. He's a black man. Watch this. He gonna tell it in the Bible. It said it itself. He from the tribe of Judah too, so we don't get that. <laughs> and his feet like unto fine bread. What's called his bread? Bread, not grass. Bread, like a penny. What color is it? Brown, right? So he said that his feet was brown. So his feet was brown, like your, uh, like your brother. Is his feet brown? What, what the color is the rest of his body? All right, now let's see. If he, let's see what kind of kind of texture this brown you got. You know, as if they burn in a furnace. When something is burnt, that's past that. When something gets burnt, what color does it get? Black. So the Bible describes Christ as a black man with woolly hair. That's, that's right. right. So for, for some reason, when you go to your uh, your Christian church, they're telling you, oh, it's, it's a white man with blue eyes, uh, everything that everything white is right. That's what they tell them. But really, He's a black man. Give me Jeremiah 14 2 again. Bring it, bring it out. out. He's from the tribe of Judah. You know Christ is from the tribe of Judah. Like they call him a Jew. Tribe of Judah, right? Watch this. Huh? No. No. But he's black. We're gonna find out. Hey, right, look, you don't gonna do everything from the Bible. Because you don't have to believe us. Look, you don't have to you don't have to, don't have to believe us. But you should be believing is what comes out of the Bible. You understand? Right. the Bible is what? That's what the truth said, right? Y'all understand that, right? So read that. This is the book of Jeremiah, 14 and 2. Judah mourning and the gates. Judah was mourning and the gates was language that the leadership was getting cast away. Read. The gates thereof language. They are black unto the ground. So I don't know if you ever seen a sick black man before. A really sick black man before. When we, we get sick, we get really, really dark. Like right. our feet, we get really, really dark. Right. Our hands get really, really dark. Right. So they say that Judah is, he had from the Christian time, let's get out of there too. Judah mourning, and the gate thereof language. They are black unto the ground. So they are black unto the ground. Right. Even when you go with the deep and you go dig into the ground, how, how the soil start looking? It get darker, it get darker, right? The Bible is always describing the Jews, the, the tribe of Judah, Benjamin and Levi, as their black or dark-skinned people. It only describes them as this. All this, what you are learning, is lies. This is Cesar Bourget. He was the post son. When they were, when, when, the, when the Romans had to go against the, uh, the Jews, what you think they're gonna say? You're going to send an army to fight people that look like Jesus. So they're like, hey, we need a new image of Jesus. The Pope was like, this is my favorite um, nephew, was, uh, my favorite son. So guess what? Leonardo came up with this image. Right. That's how you got the, the, the white man Jesus. He never was a white man. Right. right. He, there was always dark skin people. That's right. What about it? That's not, a, that's, not, that's a white dude. Okay. 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 But we call them white people, but they actually call red in the Bible. That's right. Why they call them red? Right. Because look, in the, in the South, we call them rednecks or whatever. Because when they get mad or they stay out in the sun too long, their skin turn what? They turn red. Right. So the Bible will say they red. But we'll call, we call them the white man just for y'all to understand what we're talking about. But they change Christ's image. A different way based off this image. Right. Right. I want to get do right seven six. Because this is what they don't want you to know. They don't want you to know that your lineage is the greatest people that ever walked this earth. That's right. And that's why you look at look at how we look. We we'll treat each other out here right. in these neighborhoods. Right. We shoot down our elderly right down the road over here. Right. Ran them over in the car. We 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 we, we find our parents. We. Like we were talking to the other brother, uh, Shiloh, doing drugs, hanging out in the, at the gas station and stuff. You know what I'm saying? But that's all we do. We have no respect for ourselves because we only see ourselves as slaves like this. Right. We don't see ourselves as glorified like this. Like when we see this, we'll be like, oh, that's a demon. That's a devil. They got, we got uh, seven candlesticks. Clearly in the Bible, they had seven candlesticks. Right. right. But they don't teach that. They don't teach that to our people. Get to Deuteronomy 76. I'm going to show you what the Bible says about 
the so-called black Hispanic man. The so-called black and Hispanic man, the greatest people on earth. That's right. And the Bible actually says that. Read that. This is the Watch book. Of, this is the book of Deuteronomy, verse seven and six. Thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. He said, Thou art a holy people to the Lord thy God. You see that, right? It's very personal. He, is he talking about anybody else right now? He says specifically the Israelites that like you see on this sign are a holy people. Read on. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people and to himself yeah, above. No, no, no. You heard that? What did, what did, uh, what did God say, Doug? chosen thee to be a special people and to himself. You see that? God chose thee, the Israelite, to be a special people unto himself. You understand? Read on, watch this. Above all people. Wait, 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 wait. go too fast. He said, read, read from the top. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people and to himself. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Did you hear what that? Did you hear what the most I said? He said to be a what? Above who? Read again the bottom part. Above, above all people. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Did you hear that, Diamond? What did he say? He said above all people where? Upon the face of what? The face of the earth. That's the face right. The of the earth. Upon the whole face of the earth, he said, we above all people. So today, we're casting ourselves down like this and we won't repent. Right. Because since, we, since this happened to us because we sinned, all this happened because of sin. And uh, I'm going to let him go over Deuteronomy 28 because all this happened because of all sins. And we still sinning today. We still doing Easter. Yes. Moses said it. Moses said, this is going to happen, and it happened. Right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.